everybody, Anne here, sitting here on my porch, having my coffee with all of you lovely people. It's going to be raining again today, all day long. So, did the bug spray work? Well, I tried it out last night, and here's a couple clips. Hey, you guys, I just want to let you know, this is the same evening of the day that I made that little bug spray, and I've sprayed my arms, my legs, my neck, my back, and it it smells so good, and it makes my skin feel so good with that coconut oil in it. And a little bit ago, there was like a gnat or something like that, I had a little wink, a little tiny thing. It landed on my arm, and it kind of snipped around a little bit and then took off. So I think that this is going to work. I removed any citronella candles, anything that might, you know, repel insects. And I'm sitting out here, and I can see mosquitoes flying around. Ooh, there's one. There's one right there. And they're not coming near me. Look at that mosquito. Normally, it would be right up on me. Look at that. It's not even coming for me. Come on, dude. Come and get me. <laughs> Look at that. It's not even coming close. Okay, I am literally, I literally have my arm asking it, begging it to come hop up on me. Come on, mosquito. Come on. I'm still sitting out here, and it's been about an hour. No bug bites. No new bug bites. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at myself up close here. Not attractive. I need makeup. <laughs> I'm just glad that I made something. The only thing that I didn't make was the witch hazel and the coconut oil. But other than that, you know what? I made a good organic bug spray. I wonder, can I grow witch hazel? I mean, it's like a plant, right? <laughs> what are you doing, Papa? Come here. Should I spray some of this on you? I need to investigate if it's okay for dogs. But, oh, you know what? He has a flea and tick thing that I put on him, so that's okay. It did work, but I got up this morning, and as many of you probably presumed, the coconut oil solidifies when it gets below a certain temperature. Not a big deal, because you can just put it under your arm or whatever, and it ends up melting. You can shake it up and you can use it. It sprays on really nicely and it does moisturize the skin. I don't have to worry about putting it on my fingers or my hands. And yeah, there was a couple bug bites from a couple days ago and they still itch really bad. Spray this on it and it helps the itch stop. And you know what? Even though <laughs> the, the coconut oil kind of solidifies, it doesn't matter. But I think in my next recipe, I am going to put something else in there. I'm considering vegetable oil. I'm also considering olive oil. So before you guys start making your own, let me test this recipe a little bit more and see what else I can do with it. Um, because the last thing I want to do is get up first thing in the morning, wanting to spray on bug spray and have it be solid like this, but you could even hold it in your hand. That's why it's a good idea to put it in these small bottles and this coconut oil will end up melting but I don't want to have to go through that inconvenience I just want to pick up the bottle and be able to spray myself down with it and not have to bother with having to kind of warm it up a little but I really like it it smells wonderful and you can spray it on your clothes and on your skin it doesn't feel greasy at all surprisingly enough and it just moisturizes my skin and another thing I noticed last night see this crazy hair see that see that yeah, let's just spray some of this on and see what it does. See if I can get a little bit more control out of my hair. Because I have a lot of flyaway hair. <laughs> I look so awful first thing in the morning. Here, I gotta put this on. Keep it out of my, keep it out of my eyeballs. But it makes my hair feel less dry and less, you know, fly away. You know what I'm talking about? I love it, and it makes my hair smell beautiful. Sorry, I had to put my sunglasses back on, even though it's overcast and it's gonna rain soon. 
Certain lights just really bother my eyes, so I almost always have to wear sunglasses. These are cheap sunglasses from the dollar store, but they work okay. Anyway, um, so the bug spray does work. It repels whatever flying, biting insects that are surrounding you. I sat out for a couple of hours last night and I didn't get bit one single time. In fact, the mosquitoes wouldn't even come close to me at all. But like I said, the coconut oil resolidifies at a certain temperature. It's getting warm and I don't think I'll need to worry about it because it's always gonna be warm. So um, all I'll have to do is shake it up. But before you guys try this recipe, unless you wanna just, you know, understand that you're gonna to have to melt this every time you use it, um, let me experiment with olive oil and I'll get back with you and let you know how that went. <sighs> Looks like it's not gonna rain until maybe 2 p.m. or so. And those baby chicks have been in their coop for, this will be the fifth day. So I'm thinking of letting them out. I need to go get dressed, get out of my jammies, put some work clothes on and see if I can get some stuff done around here before it rains and let those little baby chickens out. Okay, little chickens, come on out, get your freedom. Come on, babies. Yep. Let me throw some food out for you. It's so wet out here. We got plenty of greens growing. Yay! They're free! Whoops, somebody's already going back in. Look at how big they've gotten. Oh my gosh. Here you go, sweet babies. Look at Splash. And Raven over there. Olive. Tyson. And yeah, there's a couple more out here. Come on, girlfriend. You know how to get out. Come on. She'll make it out eventually. All right, hopefully this will go well. Oh, there's Dot. Went underneath there. Yep, still got the dot on their head. <laughs> Look at how Tyson is feathering out. Look at his neck. Oh. You guys are going crazy. You don't know what to do with yourselves. What do you think, rooster? There you go, sweet babies. Yep, that's Dot. Dot has mostly orange legs. Tyson has very orange legs. Just look at how cool he looks. They're so excited. They're like, yay! Ooh, I need to change that water. Looks like it's turning a little bit. Gross. A little bit. That's an understatement. What happens after it rains a whole bunch of days out here? Yep, the mushrooms start coming. What do we got? What do we got? Mm, not sure. Not edible. Yep, there's a whole bunch of them. Ooh, look at that pretty one. Huh. Don't know what it is. Let's see if I can get the underside. I'm going to try this. Not sure if this is coming out. I'm going to check this out and see what it is. Look at my apple is still growing. That is so wonderful. The sun is really trying to come out. Oh, I wish it would just stay for a day. Give us a break. Just a teeny break in the rain. I'm going to go see if Mr. Lucas minds if I go forage his little path back there for mushrooms. I'm sure there's something back there. I just got off the phone with Mr. Lucas and he said it's okay if I go forage on his trail. So I'm gonna go over there. I got my little ch -ch with me and my brown paper bag and Papa and we're gonna go see if we can find some mushrooms. I got my trusty sidekick with me. Yep, Papa, we're gonna go for a little stroll. Whoa, check it out. Not even two seconds on a Mr. Lucas property. There's already a gem set of Papa mushroom that's beyond its prime. Here's another little one. Let's see how young this is. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. Look at that. That is a certifiable puffball mushroom gem studded. This may be too old. Nope. Look at that. Pure white in the center. They don't get much bigger than this though. Normally down in here is where I find a ton of chanterelle mushrooms. I think it's a little bit early for chanterelles, but I'm gonna go ahead and look anyway. 
even if I find nothing, it's a beautiful stroll. I might like to add everybody that I sprayed myself down with my bug spray and so far, no bites. Well, I've walked the trail and although I didn't find any edible mushrooms, I found one similar to the ones I showed you on my property. But that's okay. I'll just save my little bag for another day and we'll try again. Chanterelles probably aren't going to end up popping up for another hmm, month or two maybe. So I'll just keep checking. Sometimes you just got to look at things from the other direction. Those are the beginnings of chanterelle mushrooms. I'm not going to harvest these. They're too small. I need them to grow and spread, but there are more. You can see them. See that? That's a chanterelle. Those are all the early beginnings of chanterelles. Yes, indeed. This whole little area is going to be filled with chanterelle mushrooms within a week or two. So I'm just going to let these grow, let them get bigger, and then I can come back and harvest them. This is glorious. On this trail of Mr. Lucas, there is a huge wild blackberry patch, and the birds haven't eaten them yet. So I'm going to eat one. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat another one because the birds ate all the ones on my property that were ripe. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just helping this plant grow. Oh yeah. Delicious. All right, I'm gonna have to come back here when there are more ripe and harvest a bunch and hopefully be able to turn them into something delicious. This doggy just kind of takes off, <laughs> goes off in another direction and then he comes back. He's a good boy. So even though I didn't get to find any mushrooms that I can eat today, that's all right. They're coming. They're going to be coming soon. And I still got to snack. I haven't had a snack of all those ripe wild blackberries. And they were yummy. And I've ate a few wild edible greens. Hopefully ones that dogs haven't peed on. Because that's what they do. Anyhow, um, it was a nice little stroll. And I love it. I love just being out here. So, anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.